Blake Alexander, Ponto Auto Service Center, head contractors and engineers. Bumped into Jim Head this morning on my morning pit walk. We had a chance to chit chat a little bit. Jim Head's passion for about the last 40 years has been burning nitro. First as a driver, now as a team owner. Top fuel, funny car. He switched back and forth a couple of times. He's a tremendously successful contractor out of Ohio. And I think he kind of feels like he's had to keep the contracting business going just so he could keep paying for his nitro car. Well, he and Blake Alexander have formed quite a partnership. And they got a bunch of VIP folks out here from Ponto Auto Service Centers this weekend that are rooting on the man on the left side. We'll talk about a guy with a lot of fans out here. Chad Green is out of Texas. Now he's from the other end of Texas. We're talking Midland. But Boncoat, Boxo Tool. Chad Green has driven a lot of different hot rods over the course of the last few years, but is focusing now on the Nitro Funny Car. He's working with Dan Wilkerson, son of Tim Wilkerson. They trade information back and forth whenever they can help. They're hoping right now to have a little bit better fortune than Tim Wilkerson did here in round number one. In qualifying, they were separated by just a few hundredths of a second. A couple of Mustangs getting ready to line up and blast off the starting line here. Winner gets Robert Height. You know what's worse than having to race Robert Height in the second round? Sitting in the grandstands watching somebody else race Robert Height in the second round. Blake's car dances around a little bit. Chad goes 3.987, 314 miles an hour. And Chad Green making it happen for his Texas fans. A 434, 224 miles an hour for Blake Alexander. He moved first. The car just came loose out there about 600 feet or so. Started dancing around a little bit. And Chad Green pulls it off. 397 at 314 miles an hour. Down to Chris. Got Dan Wilkerson. Dan, you told me right before that run, you're not going to try to go A to B. A to B maybe a little bit faster. How about that? Well, it then bumps down there and it put a bunch of holes out. So I wouldn't have lied to you if it would have done what it was supposed to do down there. But for Boncoat and everybody, we're really proud to go to the next round. Blake's a good friend of mine. Uh, hate to see him go, but I love to see him walk away. You know what I mean? Take another look on the NHRA.TV replay up on our Sunoco Vision. Good race, but just about there. You see the pull the tires loose on Blake Alexander, who will raw fuel out of the pipes as Dan Wilkinson mentioned closing in on the